Hello, everyone, and welcome back to, uh, to Save Your Mother. Oh, okay, I, I gotta point out something before we start here. This developer is one of those really cool developers that, uh, comments on every video with a bunch of, like, um, like, fun facts about the game's development and clarifying a few things. I recommend, um, if they do continue to do that, and I, I really do appreciate reading those, I love them a lot. Go check them out yourself, too. Um, either way, though, we are back with Save Your Mother. Just gotta move some windows real quick. Okay, so we're in an ice world now. This... Hmm. Oh, what the heck? Okay, you came out of nowhere. <laughs> he has a cure spell. Okay, that can be a problem. He doesn't really heal himself for much, though, which I guess is good from a balancing standpoint. There we go, I got a critical and just killed him in one hit. Let me go grab that real quick. What is my status looking like? I got 31 experience from that enemy, and I need 162 to get to the next level. That's not bad balancing, actually. I don't know why it took so long to get to level 1 to level 2, but whatever. Oh, I don't like the look of that puzzle. That reminds me of uh, the Latant Surge puzzle, actually, which is not a good thing. Also, really nice attention to detail how there are, like, footprints when you step over that snow. Huh? Oh, again. Okay, it looks like enemies are coming out of those, like, um, those, like, ice uh, crystals to attack me, which is kind of cool. You know, the one thing I regret so far, apparently, um, remember when we were saving the princess and, uh, we, like, killed that giant gargoyle guy? Apparently, there's a way to not kill him, and if, um, and later on in the game, if you don't kill that character, uh, you can actually get something. So I missed out on that. If you're playing along, perhaps maybe go back? I'm not gonna do that, but whatever. <laughs> The dev said that you get something that, like, doubles experience and a few other things. I honestly don't think this game is that badly balanced, so I don't really feel the need to do that. Also, I see a... Oh, they have invisible walls in this game. That's not good. I don't really like these, but whatever. I liked a new picture, which is always nice. Huh? I just started sliding for no reason. Huh. Okay, what is this? Ooh, okay. Oh, I know what kind of puzzle this is. You break off the handle. Okay. Yo, this is a light crusader puzzle. I like this. Um, yeah, okay. I know what you need to do here. The trick to these puzzles is to always stay symmetrical. Even if you're just trying stuff, you'll eventually get it if you're just staying symmetrical. Why didn't that one go? Um, did you see that? When you flip this switch, the one below it doesn't go off. That's kind of bad, actually. Um, huh. Oh, yeah, here we go. Well, I just did it. <laughs> What's this? An altar. There's a message written in the ancient symbols, but I think I can translate it. Let's see. An offering in the form of a living being grants you the power beyond recognition. Do I have a sacrifice? No. That didn't work. I probably need to capture, like, a living animal or something. Nothing in here. Also, it looks like some random patches of, um... What just popped out of the ground there? Oh, okay, never mind. It looks like some random patches of this ground are, um... Yeah, like, right there. This I'm standing on... That's an ice patch. Frankly, it's, it's really hard to tell that that's an ice patch. It just kind of looks like it's part of the ground, honestly. Uh-oh. 
There we go. Oh, I gotta level up. Good. Let's use that Energizer, actually. Oh, wait, no. I don't have a way to heal my magic or my health back. Well, I do, but it's I only have one left. I don't want to waste it. Do these flowers do anything? I guess not. Health brew. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. I want to see what's up that ladder. Hmm. Oh no! Oh, I don't like these. Um, hold up. I gotta wonder, is this optional? Or is this uh, something I have to do? Actually, the spikes don't seem that intrusive here. What's going on here? Oh, fishing! <laughs> I don't have a rod. I need a fishing rod to do that. <laughs> also, that fishing game looked familiar. I sort of wonder now if... Is there like a... Um... What the... Oh, okay, okay. Um, You look like progress. Um... Greetings, mortal. I see you have made it very far. Most impressive indeed. It, it it pleases me to see your progress, child. It has been ages since I have seen anyone come this far. Who are you? I am Glamour, one of the Exalted Eight. It is my sworn duty to protect Eolium Cube from the, from those who are not worthy. Can you help me? What is wrong, my child? I am hurt? Poor child, I understand that your journey must take its toll on you. However, I do not want you to, be to begin to rely on me to come healing you for every minor bruise. But instead, I'll teach you how to heal yourself. <gasps> it is done! You are now able to close any wounds, no matter how grievous. We got a heal spell. Can I, like... Poor child, I understand that your journey must be scary. You asked me to help you, so I shall. Would you like a hug? Poor child, the whole ordeal must be so tough. Have you loved in your having your loved one in danger and yourself having to deal with so much? I wish there was more I could do to help you, but for all it is worth, I hope everything turns out better for you. I know you will succeed. I have faith in you. Now all you need is to have faith in yourself. <laughs> I, I think the music reset there. Each of us higher beings that represent a particular god, we select we we were selected by them. While none of us were originally meant to be to literally kill the ones tested, l let's just say that some of our less civilized ones ended up taking a liking to human meat quite a long time ago. Um, how honestly, I oh, the big fuss is about, humans taste very bland unless you use really good seasoning and trimming. Tell me more. <laughs> there are eight of us, myself included. We are, oh goodness, there are Ungolia, Dweller of Depths, Lilith, Lady of Ice, Forsaken, Trix, the Ab and Abyss, would you like to know something about a particular one? Do I get something if I go through all of these? I'm not gonna read all of this, but I will, um... I will run through the text if it's not too tedious. This is quite a plot dump. <laughs> it's... Uh, yourself. You know, I have a question for some of you while we have these on screen right now. Do you like the art style of this game? The, um... The art style itself, I mean, the, the tile set is more or less just RPG Maker. But, like, these pencil sketches, what are your thoughts on them? I can see why some wouldn't like them, because they do appear to be kind of, like, rough, if that makes sense. But I don't know why. I I am a sucker for, like, pencil drawing drawings like this. Oh, come on. Uh, 
enough already. You have listened to my stories with patience, and for that I applaud you. You are wise to know of those who work against you. There is just one more thing. What is that? The one who gains the Ilium Cube is the one who gains more strength than, than us eight combined. They will be able to control fire, ice, earth, water, and even space and time. In fact, if the only if the Ilium Cube were, to, were would fall into the wrong hands, it could wipe out the entire existence, all mortals and gods alike. Oh my god. Yes, now that you see I've been helping you so much, if the Ilium Cube falls into the wrong hands, we are all in grave danger, no matter how powerful we are. As a final token of my appreciation, I am warning you this um, of the things I said. I grant you this po potion that shall give you the strength of eight men. Potion of Exalted Eight. But some of you are women. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> there are eight of us. At least, like, four of us are women. Here, take this potion that gives you the strength of eight men. Who are you? Oh, this guy looks cool. Bella. The poor man must be freezing. I can't help him. He's way too hurt for me to move him myself. Okay, I probably need to grab something for him then. You know, I feel like we can finish this area right now, but I kind of want to explore more of this. I know there's like another staircase down here I didn't get to. <sighs> Off in this way, I think? It was like down the bottom right of this area. Uh, right behind the Lieutenant Surge puzzle. What is the point of a hallway this long? Seriously, like, I, I don't think it needs to be that long. <laughs> yeah, right down here. I haven't gone down here yet. What the heck? Oh, hello, girl. Say, can you do me a favor? Oh, sure. What can I do for you? My husband should have come back for fishing uh, for our dinner. I'm starting to get worried. However, I can't just leave my daughter all by herself. There's monsters around here, you know. So I want me to find your husband. If you could, please. My name is Bella, by the way. What's your name? My name is Alice. Lovely to meet you. Say, you seem really thin. Would you like to eat something before you go? You could use some more meat on your bones. <laughs> me with more meat? That's, that's quite all right. I'm not very hungry right now. Well then, how about some willow bark tea? It will help soothe your your sore muscles. Okay. Oh, cool. That must have been a full heal. In any case, once you find my darling, Sergi, um, can you bring him back to me? I think I know. Yeah, that must be that man we found in the um in the next room. Okay, I kind of wish I did. I found. I went down here first, but whatever. <laughs> really, game. <laughs> Come on. You know, that woman mentioned fishing. I'm going to make a wild guess that if I help her, I get a fishing rod. And then I'll be able to finally try out that fishing rod. And then maybe with that fishing rod, I'll be able to, um, to catch a fish. And then that fish might be a suitable sacrifice for that, like, black obelisk looking thing. That's what I'm going to assume is going to happen. Let's see how close I am. Also, I, I, oh, ooh, okay, okay, I forgot about those, um. Go ahead and save. Can I, like, heal myself now? I want to see how this works. Oh, that's just straight up a full heal. And did it give me a status, too? Is that, like, regen or something? It gave me regen, really, now. That seems kind of broken. Oh, I love how that scrolls on the left side. I'm assuming that scrolls through a lot of different statuses you can have. That is actually really cool looking. <laughs> this must be Bella's husband. I need to save him, but he's too hurt for me to carry. I'd kill him. I must go back to Bella. Maybe she knows what to do. I hope I won't be too late. Oh, so we're going on like a wild goose chase. Okay. Hopefully this isn't too annoying for you to watch. And there goes the HP regen. Okay, that's fine. I love the word regen for some reason. I don't know why. It's really fun to say. Yeah, I feel like these two could have been a little bit closer, or maybe some of these hallways could have been a little shorter. I don't know. Have you found my darling yet? Yes, I have. He is in dire need of help. He's freezing cold and I can't move him all by myself. 
Oh, my poor man. Wait, I think I have an idea. If you bring me fish, I can make my world-famous cold go away soup. It'll make him feel fresh as daisies. Um, that does sound like a good plan, but I do not have any means to catch fish. Oh, oops, something just popped up. There we go. Well, you may have a fishing pole. Do you know how to use it? I studied a bit of ichthyology during the, zoo uh, the zoology class, but I don't have much practical experience. Itchy... what? That's a study of fish. Anyway, fishing is very simple. Just apply a bait and then cast it away into the water. You can tell it'll... It's got a, it's got a fish if there are fish playing around it. Oh, yeah. Before I go, you should bring me, um, purple-colored fish. That's called a purple presley. If you run out of bait, please come to me and I'll give you more. I don't have a fishing pole, though. When you find fish, you can interact with a fishing icon by taking the fishing screen. When it reaches the strength you wish, press accept the key. This is a lot of it. Huh. I don't have a fishing pole, though. Wait, what's this? Use for fishing. Oh, I just got that now. Okay, I must have gotten that in there and I just wasn't paying attention. Huh. This might be a longer one because of, um, because of this mission. Okay. I, I kind of liked this mission to start out, but I don't like the idea that you have to find the husband, then go back to his wife, then go back to the husband just to find out you can't carry him, then go back to his wife, then go back with a fishing pole, and then I'm probably going to have to go back to his wife again, and then probably back to the husband one more time. Like, really, game? I, I don't really think this is, this is all the steps are necessary. Usually they don't have like a like a mission like this unless it's like a joke. Like I remember Pokemon Clover did something like this. There was like an old uh, husband and wife that that wouldn't stop fighting. However, they would only fight through the means of you, and you would have to run from one side of the ship to the other to exchange the um to exchange the next um <laughs> the next argument they they thought up, which is actually kind of hilarious. And it's a GBA game, so you can emulate it and use that speed-up trick. Like, it's, it, I, I actually found that kind of humorous, actually. Okay, I, I have another question. Do you guys still want me to finish that playthrough? I have not picked it up in ages. Yeah, I was so close to the end. I, I'd still have to play through the whole game over again, but whatever. I'm going to take the Earthworm, because it's probably the most basic one. Okay, so she said to get a purple-colored fish. Oh, oh, goodness. How, okay, how do you do this again? Oh, okay, you have to mash it. Uh-oh. I might run out of... I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, maybe not. Ah, oh, dang it. No, I don't want you. Okay, that is how you get a fish. That's a poisonous fish, though. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna re- oh. Oh, that full screens it. Um, how do you soft reset in RPG Maker again? It looks like the button doesn't work actually. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna reset the game. I don't want to waste any good bait on this. Well, I just got a steam item. Probably not one of those cards. I love selling those for pocket change and then buying, uh, Genesis games for some reason. <laughs> I love the Genesis. We should play more Genesis games on this channel. We should play Light Crusader on this channel. I talk about that game all the time. Light Crusader is actually my favorite video game, if you don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, though. Ah, uh, okay. It looks like I can't just hold it. How I describe Light Crusader is think The Legend of Zelda if it was made by the team that did Gunstar Heroes. 
Like, it's an isometric action game, which is kind of a ridiculous concept, but it, it works really, really well. I still think I'm doing something wrong, but yeah, we, we did it at least, so let's 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 go back. Like I played that game all the time as a kid. You know, I have a question. We'll, we'll call this like the comment question of the day. Comment below your answer. What would you say is the most fun fishing mini game in that you can think of? Because I don't know why. Like fishing mini games ha are, are typically they're, they're typically stereotyped as being very boring, but some of them are actually really fun and relaxing. I'm just kind of curious what your favorites are. My personal pick would probably be Animal Crossing. But I hear a lot of people say Stardew Valley's fishing is really fun. Robo Presley, this is going to help my darling Sergia for sure. Uh, I'll start making the soup now. Please wait in a bit until it's ready. Sorry, I'm still cooking. Please wait a little bit longer. Uh, do I just have to leave and come back, like in Mega Man? <laughs> you know, I've never played Stardew Valley. I love Terraria. How long do I wait? Hmm. I'm curious, do I actually have to wait or do I have to come back later? That's my question. Cause I can come back later if uh if the game wants me to. I'm actually kinda curious. I, I like I really want to see this through to the end. Oh there we go. I'm happy to present you soup soup that'll help him. We got cold go away. Please take the soup to him. Okay. Then we're gonna we're probably gonna be coming back after this too, which I don't really see the point in in doing all of this. <laughs> I'm watching Nintendo Capri Sun play Stardew Valley right now, who is one of my favorite Let's players. I've watched I've been watching that guy for years. He's also doing Ace Attorney, uh, specifically the like spin-off games where he plays Edgeworth. You know the um the 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 edgy like prosecutor in red. <laughs> it's... Okay. Oh no! Oh, I thought I was gonna get hit there. All right, how you doing, Bella? Here, drink this. It'll make you feel better. Thank you so much for helping me. One of the spikes hurt me uh, when a blonde girl ran past me. Oh, it was her again. Jenna. She didn't tell me her name. She was just in such a hurry that she didn't even help me. Had she talked to me, I would have warned her about the Lady of Ice. In my hurt sta uh, state, I, ma I made my way here in confusion and lost consciousness. I would have died without you. Thank you so much. I will meet you back at Bella. Yeah, I knew it! <laughs> Fine. Fine. We better get something pretty dang good for this. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm gonna go save, too, just in case. You never know of a game that's crazy, like... I don't know why, but it takes like a couple seconds to get the save screen up. I don't think I've ever played an RPG Maker game that does that. Wait, the save screen keeps track of my biggest fish caught? That is so funny. <laughs> what a useless stat to take care of, because how often am I going to fish in an RPG? Like... Watch them give me, like, a sacrificial goat or something for that altar. I still want to do that. I'm so glad you brought him back. For now, uh, from now on, if you ever need any fish, just give it, just give it to me and I'll make it into soup for you. Oh, cool! You can now make soup too. Why is there an extra space there? By interacting with the stove, there's a chance that you'll you'll that you will burn the fish instead of doing the slow cooking Bella does. Furthermore, Bella's slow cooking can taste sta um, can take stacks while while you're not so good cooking skills only allow you to do with one fish at a time. So I have options now. Huh? That's kind of cool. I can't cook that. <laughs> I, I can't cook nothing. Ah, it's you. 
I am already feeling be a bit better, but it'll take time for me to fully recover. As promised, I shall give you a reward for saving my life. You can have my old spell book. I have some useful uh, spells I used back in the day. Ooh, so I get some new skills for doing that. Where are they? Hold up. Um. Where's the spell book? Huh. I hope you do six. I hope you do succeed. Okay, I, I thought I I thought I misread that as a typo real quick. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. If I knew you could do that, I probably would have um I probably would have um spent more time fishing. But whatever, whatever. Oh, that's the way back. Um, I don't want to go that way. I guess we'll just, I guess all we can do now is just head back to where we were. Ah, dang it. I still don't have anything to sacrifice. Maybe I just need to catch a fish and bring it there. Who knows? I'm kind of tired of this place right now. I, I do love ice levels, but I sort of want to just move on. Hmm. In fact, I think that might be enough for this episode. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.